Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in the last video, we started just the uh, refactoring of uh, our this project. So in the last part, what we have done, we just uh, moved the packages from this API layer to the service layer. So you have, uh, you can see that we have some packages that was present up right here in this layer. So we have moved this. Now in this video, we are going to move one of our method that is the registration for the user and we will be taking it to our service layer for not making it this we will be going to the service and here we will going to add an interface so we are doing the segregation of the code let's create an interface i user in this interface we will not be adding anything that is irrelevant to the user this interface will be only handling everything that is uh, related to the user management like user can sign up user can register user can assign a role something like that okay so we will be uh, for keep keeping in mind all the solid principles so we have created an interface i user and let's make it as public for now and we should have a model folder yes we have so in the model folder we created a api response class okay so what it will be doing it it will it, it will be like uh, you when you uh, want to return the response you will be using this class as a wrapper so this will be returning is success if something uh, is broken or not getting the right thing so we will be returning the false otherwise this success will be true there will be some relevant message that will be sending from service to the controller and there will be some status code we will be sending from here but we, we will discuss it some out later and here we will be returning the response and it's here right now we, we are returning the generic okay anything can, can be uh, we can uh, return from from here so I created as a generic class now we need to make use of it up right here in the i user interface so if i go to the controller that we the code we are trying to segregate is consist of two part first is all the thing relevant to the user here we are creating the token of the user so we we will be creating register user and when we register user we will be returning a string uh, that will be the token and rest of the part is uh, will be segregated in some other interface okay so this part will be going to that method uh, create user so come in the interface so here I am going to create a method okay this is the summary of the method uh, okay we need to define what this method does i'm not writing it in the description it will take time some more and the parameter name is register user the register user is here so i will have to copy this model let's do what make a shortcut let's cut from here and paste in the model okay, now we will not be getting an error here in our user now we can add the reference user api but it's you can see the reference is coming user management dot api dot model dot authentication dot sign up for now we need to go to the login login model here just remove this api and user management dot make it as service not fix same for the sign up fix the namespace okay come up here i user add the reference now this is correct remove unnecessary things in the references okay so we created a an interface of the method that will be creating a user and returning a token okay sim now similarly we have to add a class for this 
and we'll be returning a user better to name it as user management because user will be some default class also so we will getting some conflict so for now i'm making it as a user and for the sake of the same name make it as user management as well otherwise we will be getting some conflicts okay so interface name is same and this is same now let's copy this paste over here press control dot implement the interface you will get the method here remove all unnecessary things from here okay and here we can see uh, username, email and password and uh, let's come here in the admin oh, authentication controller and what we will be doing we will be copying all the code first here. this is the easiest thing to do so we will be just okay we got some error here let's fix this for now but uh, later on we will delete the reference because we move the model from API layer to that layer now it's taking the reference from the service here in the user management what I'm doing uh, let's go to this class paste over here okay so we are getting lots of error because we don't have this uh, user manager object and role manager so we need to take it first let's create a controller but better than if I copy that would be better let's copy all the thing from here and come to the user management paste it over here make this class as public and you see this is the authentication controller let's make it as a constructor fine okay now everything looks fine but you see these things looks fine to be injected here but configuration and email service is irrelevant so let's remove this all these things related to the user so that is fine so I'm removing this dependency from here now it's fine so why is giving error because of asynchronous call async it's fine now so in the first line what we are going what we are doing we are finding the user according to the provided email if user already exist then we are returning some error so we are returning status code we don't have the status code uh, thing here we created a API response so we will be using this Uh, we'll keeping uh, the let's remove this and return this return new API response in the form of a string is success is false status code is 403 user already exist okay if user does not exist in the database already then we are going to add it to the database now so we created a user object identity user is equals to new email we bind email then security stamp we created a new quit username is bind to the user two factor enable is true and everything looks fine but from here we are checking some role which is not provided in the parameter so in the controller layer we were providing it separately but why should I do that okay so I can pass through this here while this object so let's just copy and paste string role and role should be required come up right here register user dot role now it's fixed it will be working fine if result dot succeeded not succeeded because not so let's just copy this thing again shift and let's copy this paste it right here okay and this is 500 error something user failed to create 
everything I will be copying and doing paste. Fail to create is success equals to false. Now remove this piece of code. Wherever we have this, remove this. Okay, and this piece of code is irrelevant. So we are going to remove this. In this case, now the token is created and we will be returning the success message here. Okay, this will be is success is equals to true status code will be 201 because user is created and the message uh, user created let's create the user user created successfully and in the response we will be returning the token because we will be using this token in the API layer. Let's remove this piece of code. Same. If success is equal to false, 500. And here what we need to return because we were checking if the role exists. So we'll be writing role does not exist in the database. Provided role does not exist in the database. Okay, it's fine now. Now, what we need to do, everything is fine. Uh, we need to go to the program.cs. And here, you see this line of code? We have to add the list copy because we need to register the new service, I user management okay with the user management now oh, it looks fine okay and let's try to use this go to the authentication controller same like email service copy paste make it as i user management user and let's make it copy and right here paste comma this underscore user equals to user now we are going to remove all the code except of this thing let's copy this out remove everything 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 paste it right here okay but before that what we have to do uh, we need to call that method var token equals to await underscore user dot get create token is sync provide this register user and we will be getting a token here and copy this register email request key my same object name is changed actually now it needs some return type so I have not handled anything that uh, in which case what it will be doing like 403 and 4. So we will be doing in the next video because we are going to make some more changes. For now let's make it as successfully safe. In the app setting, uh, if I go to the app setting, I will have to add the database connection here. I have to change some email configuration which I already explained in my previous videos. So I will be doing copy and paste and uh, now start to try to run this project okay for checking it let's flip to the sql server and here i'm checking
okay yeah. do i have any user no because the database is new there so i don't have any user in asp.net user okay i run the project and this swagger ui is displayed now i'm providing my email okay and here i'm going to write a password okay and my role will be admin okay this is happening because i provide in the query string i will remove it all right you see this success message 200 and the message is wrong i will update it and when i go to my email i found a link sent by my local host this application whatever the application uh, domain name this so the application will uh, the url will be coming like this api authentication confirm email token is equals to this okay so here we have successfully added something in the next video we will be doing some more refactoring i can see some bug that uh, token is not token does not looks fine to me because in the token it looks like user management or service model api response this so i will fix it in the next video so see you in the next video till then take care bye